And if we go slow motion to it, the way to really be brutal with it when I'm stepping back is to go there. Oh my God. Hey, it's Jake Mace with phoenixlongevityarts.com and we're here in San Francisco. We're in Golden Gate Park. We just toured the beautiful Japanese tea garden and it's an amazing uh, cloudy, foggy day. They told me that the fog hardly ever is around in San Francisco, so I don't know why it's foggy today. But before we get started, this is gonna be a push hands video. Please hit the like button for us, subscribe to our channel and give me a comment down below. We'll both answer your comments if you leave us a question. And I'm here today with Matthew Lee of Dao of Kung Fu. And what are we gonna do today? Tai Chi while retreating. Hey, tai Chi, yeah, like striking while you're retreating. So are you ready? Ready. So what two uh, push hands moves did you wanna show us today? I'm gonna do, one of them is gonna be Repulse the Monkey because it is one of the few where you're stepping back into a strike, which is difficult. Sometimes it's necessary to take a step back away if you're trying to gain space to get out of, like make a break in the fight to kind of recollect and start again. And a lot of people though get overwhelmed stepping back and trying to hit. It takes a lot out of their strike. Well, Muhammad Just Ali like always boxed on the way back. Right. It's rare that boxers can do it well stepping backwards. It's like a fault. A lot of them think they can, but it's so empty. It's like a quarterback. They always say like trying to throw off the back foot. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's rarely accurate. They're very rarely good at it. So if you had a partner on your uh, your guinea pig, how would you practice this? So the biggest thing with this one is structure. And that's the that's the key element to it. So that if I'm having to step back I structure as you're coming forward aggressively, and the angle where I make contact with you is what's important. Okay. I'm, I'm actually bisecting the feet, hmm. and I'm hitting what's called a empty gate. Empty gate? Yeah, the empty gate. Okay. So, and that's what stops a person whole. And what happens is, if I step back and I try to hit, it doesn't have the, the power a lot of times, but if I get the angle and the structure, so it's all in the footwork and then all in the waist. And as I structure it, if you try to come forward to that, it's... And you it's had your other hand there to block my stopping. attack. Right, so you and I have that in. hand up. Mm. Yeah. Cool. That's just habit. Because <laughs> I get hit in the face too many times. That was too soon. And that's enough to stop, and it'll like jolt a person if you really set the structure into it. And so we're practicing push hands, so we're going nice and smooth, but right. if you can tune that up or tune it down depending on the situation. Right. And if we go slow motion to it, the way to really be brutal with it when I'm stepping back is to go there. Oh my God. And then when the, the whole body is rotating into it, it's a knockout because it does the, the, the brain stem kink. Like getting hit with a... So we have, okay. we have the empty gate, which is this one. Like bisecting the, the footwork. And you might stance. say you have RN24 or something. Right. Version. Yeah. Going upward. That way. Which takes all my power. Right. Yeah. Which could be a jab into the throat or eyes or an uppercut type of push okay. through the chin. Or into like solar plexus or rib. 